Oh, and the leaks keep on coming, guys. We have gameplay of the Shroud screen that we covered previously here. Beam Rifle Audio, SMG, Extraction Audio, Infected Energy Sword, Falcon, in gameplay, and how the Bandit Rifle is going to work out in Halo Infinite. So let's get into those details. So here's the Shroud screen in action, action right here. This is like a bubble shield, like big time bubble shield now in Halo Infinite. Looks like you can't shoot through it in either way, either in or out. So it's gonna be much more of a kind of a visual distortion as well. So you can't really see what's going on inside of it. This could work out really well when it comes to different types of objective modes, especially as I said, like in big team battle. Uh, for 404, this could be a little tricky, but very interesting as well. Next, we have a series of audio leaks, which are gonna be crucial to let you know what sandbox items are coming in, what some gameplay items are gonna sound like as well. So let's just go right back to back and get into it. Extraction device converted. Extraction initiated. Extraction. Converting device. Sight armed. Spore mound arming. Extraction. Multiple sites active. Gather samples to emerge victorious. New site ready. New spore mound detected. Extraction successful. Enemies are converting our extraction device. We must cut into the heart of this beast. Go faster, human. The new spore mound is forming. Infection purged. Parasite eliminated. An ally is deploying the extraction device. So yeah, a lot of stuff to break down right there. That beam rifle sounded punchy and clean and crisp at the same time. It sounds so cool. The SMG is gonna be a great addition, it sounds like, as well. Extraction sounds pretty interesting. It sounds like now there's these spore mounds that they mentioned previously that we've seen actually some leaks of previously. Which I'm sure if you've been paying attention to any of the Halo Infinite leaks, especially what we've covered here on the channel, you've seen these, I guess now they're spore mounds. They're not exactly flood. We don't know for sure, but it does seem very likely. And oh my God, that infected energy sword sounded so good. But those aren't all the leaks I have for you guys. We actually have some gameplay of the Falcon in action flying around here within the world. And yes, this looks like the Falcon. Man, there's really much else to say right there. Just super excited. It looks like it flies just like the Falcon did as well. Obviously, it doesn't have all, all the visual aesthetics that this would have as it is an early access kind of leaked image or gameplay elements of the Falcon right here. But this is one of my all-time favorite vehicles of all time in Halo. So I'm incredibly excited see this comeback looks like this one also has the grenade launcher variant which is like oh so much fun to use i absolutely love it but on the other side has a chain gun so the best of both worlds on this one another interesting aspect about this falcon as well it looks like you can also ride on the side as well it's not just the two turret locations you can also sit on the side and take a ride as well so this could hold up to five players in one single falcon i mean that's gonna be a bit of a game changer especially when it comes to btb if it comes to like saying flanking around to get like ctf flags and stuff like that it's gonna be an awesome addition to the game and this is our first bit of confirmation of how the bandit rifle is going to play in halo infinite saying right here as one of the leakers who got the bandit rifle a little early said that it's a five shot perfect and a ttk seems to flow around 1.2 to 1.3 seconds I haven't been able to fully measure it but it's basically the battle rifle competitor. Now, if you want to know more Halo leaks like the Quantum Translocator, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.